So some of the tools you're gonna need for this job are you're gonna need a wire brush, you're gonna need some painter's tape, you're gonna need some sandpaper. I was using 100 grit, but you can use 100, 120, 200, 220. Uh, anything around a medium grit will work. You're gonna need some caliper paint or engine paint. You're gonna need some automotive degreaser, which is what this is. And you're gonna need some brake cleaner. And beyond that, you will just need the regular tools that you use for taking off a tire. But other than that, that is all you need. So the first step you'll want to do is to safely jack up the car and remove your wheel. Now you should tape and cover anything that you don't want painted. So I've already changed my brake pads here last week and I don't want them to be painted. And so what I'm doing is I'm taping up over the brake pad but I'm leaving the caliper exposed. Now I'm not too concerned about how the back part of the caliper works, but I'm still going to go ahead and cover up these little rubber bushings because you don't want to get you don't want to get paint on those. All right, now that we are all taped up, we are going to tape the trash bags onto the big parts. So now that everything else is taped up and I've got trash bags over everything I don't want to get paint on. I'm now going to clean the brake caliper. And to do that, you can first start with a wire brush like this, and then after that, move to sandpaper. And try not to breathe in what you're getting off with the wire brush. Now I've got some 100 grit sandpaper and I'm going to clean up anything to make the, what you did with the wire brush smoother so that way you get a nice finish. And be sure to remember that your paint job was only going to turn out as good as your sanding job so make sure to get down in all the nooks and crannies. And Alright, so now that I am done sanding, I need to clean off the caliper, and for that, I'm going to use, uh, this is just some automotive degreaser that you can buy at Walmart. Uh, its sole purpose is just to clean the caliper up so that we have a nice surface for painting. So it's now been about five minutes, our paint caliper has dried, and so now we are ready for painting. It's probably a good idea to check over your tape to make sure that it didn't move in the process of sanding and cleaning and everything else. It's just a good way to double check to make sure you're not painting anything that you don't want to paint. And so in order to start painting, you're going to want to pick up some caliper paint or engine paint or any other paint that's can withstand high temperatures and so as always follow the directions on your paint can and of course to actually start painting hold the can about eight inches away and be sure not to stay at one spot too long or else you can get some runs so here we go Now we're going to let this dry for a few minutes and repeat. So after putting on each coat, be sure to wait about five to ten minutes before putting on the next coat. So now we are on to our final coat.
I think that's where we're going to leave it. So now what we want to do is give this a, about an hour to dry before messing with it and trying to take off all the tape and stuff. So we will come back in about an hour. So one thing you can do while you're waiting for your uh, calipers to dry is you can go ahead and clean the inside of your tires while you're waiting for that since you can do a lot better job while the tire is off as opposed to when it's on. So now that that's done, we're just going to wait for our caliper to dry and then we can put everything back together. So it's been an hour later and I went ahead and pulled off the tape. I am pretty happy with it. Now there are some areas, you know, if you want to get real picky about it, like back in here in front of that bolt, you can paint in there and some of the other places back here. Uh, but for me, I'm pretty happy with this. So something you want to do is go ahead and spin your rotor. And you can see here that there's a little bit that I missed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go get some brake cleaner and clean that off. So this is a pretty important step as you don't want your brakes to lock up on you if you have some excess paint on your rotor. So yeah, just take some regular brake cleaner. And just clean off any paint that you got on your rotor. Now that that's cleaned off, we are finished. So we can go ahead and put on your tire and enjoy your nice looking brakes. So now I've got my wheel back on and you can hopefully see in there what it looks like as a final product. One more quick note, I chose not to paint my brake pad. You can do that if you want, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, since, since I changed my brake pads last week, I just chose not to paint them at this point. I might go back later on and paint them, but for now, that's all it is.